G1 Siege Farmer, Foxy back with another video, but today we are going to do Mr. Slime. No, I'm just kidding, no slime today. We are going to test this monster right here, the Fire Homunculus. And if you wanna see my build, I went Flaming Magic Bullet Accelerate for the speed attack bar increase. Um, and the flaming thunder the aoe damage okay so these are my runes i'm basically putting it after my poseidon so the thought here is the poseidon decreases the attack bar and then i can use second skill on my homunculus to get 100 attack bar and then go again for third skill so that's the logic behind this team but sometimes obviously they won't work because how attack bars work um, so here we go. I'm not pairing it with the Zaros just because I think you guys have seen enough Zaros and I want to show you the Poseidon as well. So here we go. Reduce the attack bars right here. And then if we reduce enough, we can use second skill. Oh, this whole team just died. I mean, I'm cool with that too. So we use second skill here. We should laugh because we look at their attack bars and boom, 20 something K plus an additional 45 on the Perna, 42 on the Garo. Dang. Okay, so this is gonna be like, this is the unit you wanna use if you have no Zyros, okay? So if you're one of those people that don't own a, don't own a Zyros and you need a fire threat, this is gonna be your fire threat. I, I, I don't remember what the buff was, but I wanted to test it because I remember reading it and thinking it was interesting. So if, so if you wanna know what the buff is, go check the patch out, out and we're just not too technical because we just do. So we reduce attack bars here, probably not the window because he's water, right? and my poseidon is destroying so i'm gonna go do this with anyways 23 and then we go for so you see how he goes in between 100 percent attack bar increase is not guaranteed in turn because it works by um like ticks and stuff right so using the third skill is actually probably the most safe option you're gonna have when you use the um, this unit right so here we go same concept here if you want to see my poseidon i put bad runes on it so that way it just decreases the attack bar doesn't do that much damage because i don't want it to do that much damage this is going to be a showcase for the homunculus right so boom reduce attack bar it reminds you of alicia no it's alicia is way better because you're because it just it guarantees you it guarantees you a turn unless you're facing um triana then it steals your turn right so 21k and 33k depending on how much defense the monster has right obviously it's not as good as zaros because zaros is pay to win and this is a free to play unit right Ooh, okay this is a good test we have ragdoll which means if i reduce the attack bars here you know ragdoll passive has been countered somewhat right so so here we go, full defense break. Just kidding, because Galleon users, you can expect this, no defense breaks land. Okay, attack bar reduction, and his whole team goes. So there you go, ragdoll, busted guys. This is why if you just double illusioned it, I'm pretty sure if you're fast enough, you would not get cut. Oh, Praha buff, one unit got slapped, wow. Okay, okay, that was uncalled for. <laughs> that was a lot of iron products. <laughs> All right, so here we go. AoE silence, right? So, you know, imagine for a Zyros, right? Zyros is more reliable and the attack bar decrease. So if I had a Zyros here, if I reset this, their skills, they would just first skilled everything and I wouldn't have to go through this whole rotation right here. Okay, so as you can see, this thing lacks a little bit of damage right here. 19k which is kind of like a Zyros first skill and i know i don't have double mons it's not max skill but if you just look at it i mean it's pretty strong you know? pretty strong and it does skill off speed so that's why i have run a speed um put extra speed on it so it's not like 80 speed okay so this is going to be a weird test because there's no multi-hit on the side in here so it's going to trigger the tree on passing right so the only thing about this team is you have no speed lead, right? And if you have a speed lead, how fast is their Triton versus your Tiana? You know, Triton's got so much extra speed on you. So there you go. Oh my God, no multi-hit, we've been countered, okay? This is not a showcase anymore. <laughs> He's just getting dunked. Not on the bright side, 
what I didn't think about was if your homunculus dies, it actually comes back and gives you an auto skill, right? So in that way, like right here, like I got some extra damage here, right? So I got some guaranteed damage off. I'm not sure how his AI works if he choose first and the third skill, but maybe that's something you want to play around and like if you know Tiana cleanses and you get destroyed, right? So maybe it's something to play around. Yeah, this is not terrible for free-to-play units. It's actually one of the best fire options, I'm gonna say. Like, like stop. Like, I don't know why people trying to make the um <coughs> make the what's that unit called? I forget the name escapes me right now and it's bothering me. Um, they try to make this unit work, but it's not gonna work. I keep putting the name. I'll, I'll, I'll post it when I remember, but I'm probably not gonna remember. Always skill through when it dies. Okay, if it always skills through when it dies, then it's in a pretty, that's pretty good because if you just revive and you kill something and there's no Triana there, like Triana team, right? All right, how much damage on Skogol? 35,000 with Skogol, pretty good. Didn't kill the water monsters, obviously. So, no, there you have it. I think this is gonna be your best fire option for free to play users if you don't have a Zyros. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. But before we go, we're just going to run it down this list and rate the defenses that we see. We are in 1 4, 1 3, which is C2. So I'm gonna get some a little bit more arena wings and just rate these defenses so that you guys can have an idea of you know what i think is good and what i think is terrible for, for this ring um got my three free to play wings boom here you go can i refresh yet oh okay i think this defense is garbage i don't know what the Alsharion is trying to achieve but clearly nothing i see what you're doing with the vanessa praha but this the, the white tesarion i got no idea what he's doing um trash defense i don't put the mars on your defense if you want to slow me down with the zero speed the mars you're being self-countered because you have this debt here so i don't know what this is trying to achieve i would change that one um super hot garbage winda is free lucian food ariel shouldn't be buffed five times over before you use it on defense the only great units i see are vanessa because 33 speed and gene and to improve this you need a monster that takes away debuffs Moving on, Sprug. Wow, you got an LD Nat 5. S plus. Okay, you're doing it. You're doing it right. Alright, this, this defense is super old school because it's assuming this is fast, and if you're not fast, then you automatically lose. And also Wind Demon is a thing now, so you would get blasted by Wind Demon and a Lucian and a speed lead. So uh too old school. This uh I just outspeed you and you instantly lose, right? So I mean look at the stead space speed, 99 very very achievable like you can compete against it with a tiana so i just go tiana zyros first your team explodes this team is hot garbo so the only team that works is if you have two fire units but i got some moth lucian so yeah hot garbo uh moving on okay this is the same concept outspeed and you win it's they're just trying to one bop you so you can literally just manipulate the ai of the freaking arena if you wanted to and bruiser it so i see what it's trying to achieve but there's a reason why you're probably around this range because people can just outspeed you and boom right same concept here you're running a speed monster with a speed lead to go first cleanse the playing field you take a turn and you debuff and control for the win so that's what i think about the defense i think this is pretty decent and this is probably the most decent one because you know all the units and probably the worst one was that random like where they've tossed random units like this one and and this one because they don't really achieve anything whereas the other ones do have win conditions so if you guys like this segment of just reviewing some ad's um you know leave a comment as well and you know maybe we'll try to do it a little bit more in our arena videos when we test some units